Hi, uh, today I'll show you uh, an easy way to add some nice looking charts or graphs to your WordPress site or any site, but uh, I'll be using Chart.js. So here I have my WordPress site and I have some nice bar graphs on here. And as you can see, they're nice and responsive, like they show the popover uh, when I hover over it. It's not just the image on the page, which is nice. And the chart.js has a lot of different types of charts and graphs, and they're they're infinitely customizable. Like on my graph, for instance, uh, one cool thing is that uh, I made this X, uh, y axis logarithmic, so the data shows up nicely, even though some of the values are really far apart. Um, that's one cool thing, but. Uh, <clears throat> There's a lot of different charts and graphs here, and I'll show you some examples. You can get really crazy, really advanced with them. Um, like let's say scatter plot, you know, shows the data. It's pretty cool. Um, like let's say this bubble chart. Yeah, this is, looks really nice. You can do all sorts of different visual effects. Um, can add data, you know, remove data, randomize the data. So yeah, there's just a there's a ton of options here. You can different um, legend options. Uh, look at let's look at this crazy one. Oh, look at that! Look, at, that's crazy. So yeah, there's just so this chart chase is really nice, and um, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of uh, examples on the web so you can just kind of search which one you're looking for and someone will have something about it guaranteed and the first thing you need to do to get this working is uh, you need to install the header and footer scripts plugin so just go um, go to plugins add new header and footer scripts and you're going to want to install this one okay so install that I already have it installed and then when you when you have it installed you go to settings uh, header and footer scripts and you're going to add this uh, uh, the script tag to to include the chart.js library and this is just downloaded from a CDN and you can, there's different versions that are available so I'll put that in the description okay so once you have that you're gonna wanna go to your uh, post so here's mine and then I'll add a new block for the new chart and it's going to be a custom HTML. Okay. And so here I have one prepared already. So I'll be adding a new chart. I decided to make it a horizontal bar graph. So let's copy that. <clears throat> Paste it in. And so what, what this is, is um, it's basically, it's just a, a div and inside there's a canvas and that's where chart.js is going to draw the chart based on my configuration and so here um, it finds the chart by an ID so if you have different charts on the page you're going to want to have different IDs so here I have chart 3 uh, my chart 3 and um, so down here I have all the configuration a horizontal bar you know uh, here's the labels here's the data I'm gonna color it with this colors and here's some more options about the legend don't display it and the title and stuff you know font size whatever I'm making the oh, x-axis logarithmic so and here's the uh, here's a little callback for to make that tooltip 
So uh, I'll put this in the description too, so you can reference that. So let's um, preview. And you go down here and see that it added a new chart. And it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, so that's about it. That's all you need to do.